What's going on, Every Muscle family? Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Tony. And I'm Brittany. And welcome to Every Muscle. And today, we got a good one for y'all, man. We want to talk about something that we've been working on for the last year. Ooh. And uh, it's been a roller coaster ride, just to say the least. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button. And make sure you drop us some comments, which I want to see. Give us some feedback mm -hmm. and let us know uh, if there's things that you guys would like to see. And if you just have any questions, we want to take you guys along. Uh, that's why we created this channel, just to uh, inspire, motivate, and just, uh, you know, have a dialogue with you guys. Without further ado. All right. All right, guys. We got some big news. All right, drum roll. <laughs> We're, We're moving, moving to, to Japan. 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 So some of you who have followed our story may or may not know that we lived in Japan um, in 2014. So actually we got there 2013, the end of 2013 and we had our first daughter there and we were there all the way up until uh, up until 2015. So we were there for a total of 18 months. And we are on our way back. Yeah, yeah, very exciting time mm -hmm. for us, y'all. But uh, first, we want to give y'all a little backstory, right? As Brittany already said, uh, we used to live there for about 18 months, uh, close to two years. Uh, had Harley there. Uh, but uh, I'm in the military, I'm in the Navy, officer in the Navy. And so uh, after we left Japan, we came back to California, right? And so we've been here for the last five years yeah been here for the last five years so i just came back from deployment in october 2020 i left in january came back uh october 2020. Uh, before i got back uh, we had orders originally to japan fast forward to november i ended up injuring myself i ruptured my achilles tendon right uh the right side and uh, that ended up putting me uh uh well actually they they canceled my orders because I couldn't I couldn't walk. I had to have surgery. And so that's a long recovery. It's like a year long recovery. So I was on what they call limited duty status. So they took me off the ship that I was on and they put me uh, just basically at a building where I could go in or just check in every day. Uh, but I couldn't physically go to the building because I had surgery, right? And so uh, the surgery process was uh, the recovery. They had me on six month limited duty status which means I can't go to the ship. And so in that process, they canceled my order. So we was not, no longer going to Japan. So we basically had to start over. And before that, uh, we ended up selling our home. Mm -hmm. and I let Brittany touch on that and that process because I was on deployment when we sold our house. Yeah, we sold our house in October of 2020. And of course, the reason why we sold our house was because we thought we were moving to Japan. So originally we were supposed to move to Japan in March of 2021. Uh, so I kind of wanted to get a head start on selling the house because I didn't know where the housing market was at that time. And that was pre-elections. And so, you know, sometimes things can go a little wonky with the um, housing market, yeah, around the ele election time or after the election, depending on, you know, who your president is or whatever like that. So there were just a lot of unknown variables that was there. And I really wanted to kind of like get ahead of the curve, curve ball or get ahead of the eight ball or get ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve. <laughs> and just go ahead and sell the house. And um, I didn't want that to be something that we were trying to do, you know, a month or a month or two out from moving to Japan. I wanted to have that big priority or responsibility kind of behind us, well behind us before um, our move. So we put the house on the market and it sold like that. In a day. All right, this is our last night here at the house we just left the lockbox keys well just left the keys of the lockbox for the new buyers or the new homeowners and we are on to the next chapter so any last words babe nope 
sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> It didn't even go to the MLS because this is our first time selling home, by the way. So some of the terms are still a little bit like new to me, but um, our realtor was amazing. She pretty much put our home up um, on a private MLS to where only other realtors can see it. So it wasn't to the public and somebody bought our house right away. So we ended up selling our home and that ended up uh, giving us a, you know, we had some Equity. equity in the house and that ended up giving us a little bit of profit for our finishing up our debt-free journey so one of our goals was to move to Japan completely debt-free yeah. and so by selling selling our home that definitely helped us um, you know just kind of bring in the tail end of that debt and also one of the reasons why we decided to sell the home opposed to renting the home out um, if you're wondering is because at the time, um, as you guys know, 2020 was the start of the pandemic and I really didn't want to be a landlord, that's A, and then that was our first home and I was kind of territorial over the house and I didn't want to have like these renters in it throughout the time that we were in Japan and like be worried about like, is somebody, you know, messing up my floors or tearing up the house, even though they, they would be responsible for the repairs and stuff or no, maybe we not. We would have been responsible for the parents yeah. and have to get like people out to like repair everything. And it was just like, it just already felt overwhelming just thinking about having renters. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, there was the mor moratorium that was out. Yep. And so if anything were to happen with our renters in terms of their income, we basically could not evict them. Yep. And so that's something that we didn't want to risk. And the home was so new, we were not attached to the home. We had only been in the house for like 18 months. So we just basically mutually decided, you know what, this home served this purpose for the season that we were in. We'll sell it, we'll get the um, profit from it, and we'll just move forward. So that's what we did. That's exactly what we did. Um, yeah, The uh, also just to add, uh, another thing that drove us to selling the house versus renting it out is we would have been coming out of pocket about five or six hundred dollars a month yeah and that just didn't make sense to us uh so it's like nah you know this is our first home there's houses everywhere we can always right. get another house right so we had to keep that in mind like this is a stupid house mm, we right can, we could get another house. house and okay we're good to go right yeah we just start over and now that you know if, if y'all can go back and, and check out our part one and part two debt free journey uh, we'll link that below as well. Uh, check out the story because we talk about how uh, the house and everything, uh, how we was basically wanting to just br uh, break even in yeah. the house. And then we would have been okay with that mm -hmm. because it's like, all right, we just bought the house. How much profit could we get from it? Right. So uh, it ended up being a huge blessing to yes. us. So we didn't originally sell it to uh, help us on the debt-free journey, but it ended up helping us mm -hmm. huge on the debt-free journey. Mm -hmm. So Got go it. check out, yeah, man, go check out the debt-free journey part one and two if you haven't already. Um, so I would like to go ahead and talk about why we chose Japan. Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. So I had already kind of had this unction to move overseas again. As you guys know, I'm a celebrity makeup artist, and so a lot of my jobs are here in Los Angeles, and I do a lot of television work. But um, I just had Willow, and we were thinking about having a third child. So really, I was like, you know what, I would love to do this overseas and just kind of give our family an opportunity to explore you know, another country. And we had already lived in Japan one time before, so Japan was definitely on the table as an option. So that's one of the reasons why we chose Japan because I was ready, pretty much ready to move out of this country and um, just explore other countries mm -hmm. with our family. Yeah. And, you know, being that Tony is in the Navy, it just gives us a great opportunity to do that while still maintaining like a really good source of income. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so uh, another reason why we chose Japan is because it's very safe. Very. You know, if you, uh, you can look at the Global Peace Index uh, and it'll have like the rankings of every country on uh, how peaceful it is. Mm -hmm. and they base that off of crime. They base it off of, uh, uh, it's like five different attributes. I can't remember them right off top. But uh, they take that and then they rank all of the countries. And Japan is top 10 yeah. of uh, one of the safest countries in the world. And we got to experience that when we were there the first yeah. time because uh, 
one thing that happened that we see often is uh, public transportation is huge over there. So uh, you'd see kids on the, the train by themselves, no mm -hmm. parents around. You'd see them getting into uh, cabs, taxis, Ubers by themselves. And that just blew Britney out of the way. It's like, there's no way that can happen in the States. Yeah. There's no way. Mm -mm. For one, our parents wouldn't let us do that because it's, you know, it's so much going on over here mm -hmm. uh, that you could not leave your kids out of your sight like that. So that was not one thing. That was one thing that we really loved about Japan the first time was just how safe it is, how, how nice the people are. And that, not to say that there's no crime. There's crime everywhere. But... Uh, for them to be, I think they were actually like number seven on the Global Peace Index uh, for 2020. It's just, uh, it gives you a peace of mind as parents uh, that, you know, you have kids, you don't really have to stress about, is somebody going to snatch my child? Mm -hmm. uh, just us being out and, you know, anything can happen. But that, that, that was another reason why we chose a pan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love the food there, too. Yes, the food is amazing. So, <laughs> Ramen is yeah, bomb. It's amazing. So, needless to say, we're super excited to go back to Japan. We will be in Yokosuka, Japan. Mm -hmm. And it's about forty five a 45 minute train ride from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So, we do plan to do some things with the girls and do some sightseeing. And possibly, you know, traveling to other countries, other countries that are nearby Japan, mm -hmm. you know, for a little family vacation and stuff like that. So we plan to continue to um, vlog yes. and we want to really grow our, grow our channel while we're there and just really take you guys along with us along this, I guess, this journey yeah. of our lives, you know? And if you guys are interested in continuing to watch our journey as we continue to grow our family, travel um, with the military around the world, and yeah. just travel with ourselves, uh, just, you know, like, like Tony said, don't forget to subscribe. That's right. You know, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the upload from Ingram Muscle. Yep. If you're not following us, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Ingram Muscle. Follow us on Facebook at Ingram Muscle. Follow us on Twitter at Ingram underscore muscle. Um, and also don't forget to cop our book Equally yeah. Yoked. You can find that on Amazon. So. That's all we have for now. We just wanted to share that with you guys. We're super excited. The girls are excited. Um, hopefully we'll have another baby. Let's we'll go. see. We will see. We will see. But if you guys want to follow along, don't forget to subscribe. Yep. Until then, we will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.